This announcement in my hands does not go public until Monday, so that means that you're hearing this from me before the surf media or anyone else does. I am joining Firewire Surfboards. Before I get into that and talk about why that's happening, the obvious question is, what does this mean for Shred Show? And the answer is, not that much. I will still continue making videos for Shred Show about as often and sporadically as I currently do, but in addition to that, I'll be creating a ton of audio, video, written, and other stuff for Firewire about all sorts of things not just related to Firewire surfboards. So if you enjoy my approach to video or the way that I do things, this is a huge win for everyone because I'll be creating way more stuff than I ever have. Okay, so why am I going to Firewire? I'm doing this because I was able to achieve most of what I set out to do with Shred Show, and back in July, I started asking myself, okay, well, what do I want to do next? And the answer that I came up is, why don't I just try to get my dream job? I asked Firewire to give that to me for two reasons. First, to me, they're the innovation center of our industry in terms of how boards get built. Second, I think that they're fearless in terms of how those boards get shaped. For example, the extreme double concaves on a double agent or the plan shape of a Vader. You see the process of being involved in those two things as Firewire continues to evolve and innovate is unspeakably exciting for me, especially because I've been able to peek behind the curtain of some things that they have coming, and it is exactly the kind of thing that I want to spend my time doing. Not to mention the added bonus of kind of being able to say that a guy who's sort of one of my bosses won the Tahiti contest a few days ago. But the defining factor in why I'm choosing to go to Firewire is found in one of my favorite books, The Bed of Procrustes, and I'll read it from my Kindle as follows. Success is becoming, in middle adulthood, what you dreamed to be in late childhood. The rest comes from loss of control. Now that's not always a true statement, but in my case, if you had told me in late childhood when I was 14 years old that I was going to grow up to have a nice living working at a surfboard company by the beach, I would have asked you to give me a time machine to take me straight to being an adult. I'm grateful because it's taken a ton of luck to land here in life, but to the extent that I have controlled my path, the lesson is this. Decide what you want your life to be and start doing it before someone else approves of it or agrees to pay you for it. You see, if I had walked into Firewire years ago and asked them to cut me a check every month to get creative on YouTube and obsess over surfing, I would have been laughed out of the building. But when you're already well known for your presence on YouTube or your ability to code computer code or whatever it is that you've been doing for years, you find yourself with a lot of opportunities you otherwise wouldn't have access to, so start doing whatever you want to do now. So here's what I hope that you will do. A lot of the new stuff that I'll be creating will be released onto other parts of the internet aside from Shred Show. So use the link down below this video to subscribe to my email list that already many of you already subscribe to. I hope you'll click that link to stay in touch with everything that I do as I start creating things for places other than Shred Show, but of course the choice is yours. I'll close out by saying thank you for watching Shred Show, especially to those of you who have been here since way back. I hope you'll join me with a lot of excitement for the future as I start creating things for Firewire and doing a lot more than I've ever done in the past. Fast.